My name's Connor Cummins, I'm 28 just, and uh, I race motorbikes for a living. The Isle of Man TT race is the oldest race in motorcycle history. It is considered to be the hardest and most daring racing still allowed. In 107 years of racing, there have been 242 deaths. Four deaths occurred this year. It's totally different to anything. The race on public roads, on super bikes with more than 200 brake horsepower, big sticky fat tires on them. <laughs> a big strong place in my heart. Riders complete six laps throughout the race with each lap measuring 37.5 miles in length. With over 300 turns, competitors race at breakneck speeds averaging 130 miles per hour. I suppose that you could say there's a little bit of fear, but like that's, to me, I think I see that as a good thing. It settles you when you're riding, you know, you're riding hard and you, there's a line you sort of, you don't cross, you know, and I think that fear sort of controls that a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong, it doesn't have to, you know, obviously with the danger side of it, you can be hurt and, and worse, let's be realistic here, you know, it, you know, there's been some severe things that happen, you know, and um, sometimes it doesn't have to be, the individual's fault, you know. Well, I, yeah, 2010, I had a big smash uh, at the veranda on the, on the mountain road of the TT course. I lost the front end at 150 plus mile an hour. Ended up going over down, you know, over a hillside and uh, cartwheeling down a hill. And uh, yeah, next thing I knew, I was in hospital with uh, a broken back, a uh, dislocated knee, um, and a bust arm. You know, it's it's pretty horrendous, but that was that. And this is now, you know, it's all it's all behind me. And, um, something I'm, uh, I've, I've forgotten about really. And, you know, it's took a lot of getting back from, to be honest. It's um, took a lot of strength, physically and mentally, to get through it. And hopefully, I'll start seeing the fruits of my labours. Now we'll see. I'm on the best bike in the grid. I feel all right. <laughs> uh, all I do, I don't get carried away with predictions or anything like that or any of that old nonsense. It's just whatever I'm feeling on the day. If I feel good, you know, I'll push because my bike's good. The Honda Fireblade is, is a brilliant bit of kit. And, uh, you know, I'd love to do myself and the team justice by getting a good result tomorrow, you know, and there'll be no one trying as hard as I am. Needs no build up from me. Here we go. The Pokestar Senior TT, the big, big race of the week. One minute less than 55 seconds to go as the top boys are now paddling these uh, magnificent machines towards the start line on Glen Crutchley Road. Away. Number 10, 10 is Connor Cummins, the Ramsey rocket is launched.
down towards Spray Hill on the Honda. Six laps of the mountain course, 226.38 miles ahead. And Connor Cummins is on Glen Crutchery Road now, so we'll just see if Connor slots into second place. You can see all the BMW boys about to greet their charge. There is Connor Cummins slowing up. Connor is in second, 14 seconds down. Throughout a gruelling race, Connor Cummins is in a battle for first place against Michael Dunlop. Despite a neck and neck race, Connor comes in second. No one's forcing anyone to do this race at all. No one's forcing me to do it. I want to do it. I'm fully aware of what goes on. It's down to me. Everyone else is the same. There's not one man in that paddock who's signed up because they have to. It's because they want to. It's as simple as that. Now, at the end of the day, I'd only stop if I, if I stopped enjoying it. If I, if I wasn't enjoying my racing, then this place is not the place to be riding a motorbike, you know. All I could probably say is, you know, they were doing something that they, they loved, riding a motorbike and enjoying themselves, you know. You know, it's very easy for me to sit here and say that. I, I wouldn't like to be in anyone's position who, who's grieving right now, you know. Um, but hopefully they would take some kind of comfort in the fact that they were enjoying themselves and, you know, doing, doing something they wanted to do.